Hey guys, welcome back to Chili Philly. And uh, in my previous video, I talked about how we can uh, plot a regression line that best fits our data. So what best fits means is that uh, the difference or the distance between the regression line and uh, our data point must be minimum. Or we can say we try to make it minimum. Okay, so in our last video, we took the cost function as the residual sum of squares. So what it basically do is first it uh, predict the output value or we can say the dependent variable based on this independent variable. Then it calculates the value of residual, which means the difference between output and the prediction. Output is the uh, actual value of our dependent variable and prediction is the value which we predicted through our regression line. So to calculate the residual sum of squares, we just uh, square it and uh, take the sum of it. Here we need to square it because we don't want uh, our point to be negative or we can say let's take this point. Then uh, if we take the difference between actual and the regression point uh, of this uh, line, then we can see that uh, it will give us a negative value. So here we can take the square of a number so that uh, it will be positive. <laughs> so it will return as the residual square of sum and then we can find the error or the accuracy of our data set. So this was the one method to find uh, such accuracy of a model but uh, there are many, many more methods with which we can find error of a model or we can say accuracy of a model. So in this video we are going to talk about uh, how we can find the error or accuracy of a model using six different methods. And here we are not going to use Python libraries such as scikit-learn to find such error. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so there are various methods to calculate accuracy of our model. In this article, I'm going to cover a few of them. And uh, in this article, we are not going to use Python libraries to calculate accuracy models, but instead we are going to do it from scratch. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, we need uh, our data that I took uh, one, two array, one is X and one is Y, and I so just entered some random values. And uh, we can do it for our main program, but uh, it will be complicated. And I just want to want you guys to have some idea of uh, how this error functions work. So then I plotted the data on the scatter plot. So here our data. Uh, we have only took uh, five points, so here we have only five points. After then, what I did was uh, use our main function to calculate slope and intercept that we did in the last video. And if you have guys not checked my last video, then uh, I think you will enjoy it. If you want to know in depth how this uh, slope and intercept calculations work, okay, so. Okay, so this will return slope and intercept value. So we can print it out here. So here you can see that the slope is 1.7 and uh, intercept is uh, around 0.7. So now we can predict our y value or we can say the, we can predict our value of dependent variable based on our independent variable. Now here we can see that our dependent variable is y and uh, our independent variable is x. So we will try to predict the value of y based on the value of x. Okay, so here input features uh, is x and uh, predicted value is y. And this is uh, just a simple formula of uh, what can say the slope of a straight line. This is y equals to mx plus v. And it will return as predicted value. Okay, so now we will print our predicted values. So here they are. 2.4, 4.1, 5.8, 7.5, and 9.2. Okay, so here you can say that uh, our predicted value and our actual value of y are a little different. See, the first value is 2.4 and last is 9.2. And what were our actual values? Our actual values for y were 3 and 9. And uh, each of these values are different, right? So there is some error in our prediction. So how can we calculate uh, the error? Or we can say, in other words, we can say how accurate our model is. So let's just first plot the regression line through it. So this is easy. 
and if you want to know more about this uh, how to plot this regression line then you should definitely check out my previous video and i will put the link in the description so moving forward so there are basically many methods by which we can find the accuracy of a model but uh, here we here we are just going to cover only six methods okay so the first method is the residual sum of squares okay so in this what we do is uh, we first of all we do it for each and every data point in our data set so we all we are always going to sum it sum the value of whatever the function we take in okay and y is the actual value and y hat is the predicted value and here we are going to we are going to subtract it and then take a square of it i think it's obvious from the definition okay so let's see how it works so first is a different uh, sorry first it is just a simple function which takes into input the input feature output slope and intercept so now what we are going to do is uh, predict the value of dependent variable based on our independent variable and slope and intercept that we find here okay where is it here it is we have slope and intercept and we already have our value of x so we can get a prediction pred predicted value of our dependent variable so then after that we are going to subtract output and uh, prediction and then we are going to square it and sum it that is clear from this definition of a definition or what we can say is a formula for rss then it will return as the rss and uh, okay now here we can print the value of uh, the uh, print the value of something that uh, the function returns so the function is returning the value of rss that is the residual square of sum of squares so here we can print it and you need to keep in mind that uh, it takes four parameters and uh, first is input feature that is x output is y slope is slope and intercept is intercept okay so moving forward the second function is called uh, mean absolute error so what it do is it subtract y minus y dash so i think you you can see that the uh, y minus y dash is a uh, static in each and every function so we just uh, square it or take absolute values or percentage and we just uh, move around this two or three different types okay so what this does is this takes the mean absolute value now what we can say is the mean is the total number of uh, data set and we just uh, add the data points and then divide divided by the total length of the data set that is the mean and absolute means we just we are just going to take positive values even if it is negative then we are considering it as positive or we or we are multiplying it with the negative value so it will eventually be positive so i think this is clear and uh, moving forward this is just a basic uh, python program to calculate the mean absolute error so here we are going to calculate first absolute value of our y minus y hat and then we are going to sum it because there is a summation and then we are going to divide it by the length of output here we can say that uh, even if we divide it by the length of input feature then uh, it won't make any difference to our answer or we can say mean absolute error okay so this is the same as rss okay so moving forward to mean squared error here what we do is just to square this uh, function or we can say y minus y it and uh, then add each of the data point and then divide by the total length of our output and this is clear i think so moving forward and this is the mean absolute percentage error so this is a little bit different from our previous function in this what we do is uh, find the absolute value and here we can here you can see it is a percentage so we have to multiply it by 100% now we can say the 100% equals to 1 so we have to add a percent sign here but uh, i think i forgot it so it is first of all it is absolute so we are putting an absolute sign here and uh, it's a percent error now if you are good with percentage and all then you might know that uh, how to calculate a percent 
then it is the formula y minus y hat divided by y so i think uh, now this is clear to you here we are taking the absolute value and uh, dividing it by output or we can say here y and uh, adding it and here we are going to multiply it by 100 and it will return us the mean absolute percentage error okay so moving forward the next one is the mean percentage error it is same just like as a mean absolute percentage error but just we are not taking the absolute value of it right so i think it is pretty obvious to understand and uh, moving forward to next error function that is the root mean squared error now in this what we do is just take the square root of our squared calculation or we can say this is function is uh, very much similar to mean squared error okay here you can see this is the mean squared error and in root mean squared error we just take the square root of this okay so i think it is uh, good to know and here i will use the math dot square root function to calculate the square root of it okay so i think that's it for this video and if you guys enjoyed it then keep give a thumbs up okay and uh, if you want to enjoy or if you want to read some more articles like this then you can go to my blog or you can click here and uh, okay so that's it i think and one more thing if you want to have the handwritten notes for this then you can put your email id on the comment section so i will send you that okay and uh, you can visit my blog and i have uh, all this uh, articles posted over there and uh, if you have any additional question then you can ask me in the comment section or you can mail me here okay so that's it for this video and in the next video we will see how we can implement a simple linear regression using sklearn library and uh, we will also take a look at uh, how we can evaluate the accuracy like we did here with uh, sklearn library and that is very easy you just have to write one line for all of this okay so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video